This is the Marketing Podcast Network. Want Instagrammers and YouTubers to mention your brand? Or do you want to influence an audience to buy your product? I'm Jason Falls, author of the book, Winfluence, reframing influencer marketing to ignite your brand. In this podcast, we explore the people, companies, campaigns, and stories that illustrate the difference between using influencers and actually influencing. Welcome to Winfluence, the influence marketing podcast. Hello again, friends. Thanks for listening to Winfluence, the influence marketing podcast. For the last probably year or year and a half, the conversation about the value of influencers has reverberated with the opinion that micro and nano influencers are more effective than the big stars with millions of followers. Logically, that can make sense. You have to spend a lot of money for one post with a big celebrity. You can get multiple posts from multiple micro influencers that over time can add up to as much reach and certainly far more frequency. But now there's actual evidence to prove that theory. In fact, a new report out from Trend Hero, an influencer marketing software company specific to Instagram and one of the recent sponsors of this podcast, actually helped me connect some dots to calculate the average cost per thousand, or CPM rate, of celebrity influencers versus micro-influencers. And the difference may startle you. I'll tell you all about it in today's commentary, and I have a little book news update for you at the tail end of today's show, so make sure you listen through to the end. Before we get to that, it's time to get back to hearing more about our presenting sponsor on Winfluence, and that is Tagger, a complete influencer marketing software suite that allows you to find, connect, and collaborate with influencers, execute campaigns, and measure success. We've been talking to TJ Ferreira, the co-founder of Bubs Naturals, a health supplements company, about how he uses Tagger. Have you ever needed uh, to tap into customer support? And if so, what was that experience like? You know, we worked with the onboarding team um, and the engineers at the very beginning for Tiger Sync, and I haven't talked to them since. I don't think anybody on our team has talked to customer support since as well. Um, the onboarding was a pretty seamless and smooth process, and especially for what they were doing inside of, uh, you know, Jamstack Dev for Tagger Sync, that was very fast as well. Everything's hosted by them. We just needed, uh, you know, permissioning and uh, DNS changes from our side. So once that was done, it's pretty smooth. And the most interface that I've had with the Tagger team since is speaking at a marketing conference with them. <laughs> well, I guess that's a good sign that you know it. The- yeah, it's literally the same thing. Like this is the interface I have a Tagger right now is doing an interview and telling them everybody how good it is. Thanks to TJ and to Bubs Naturals for sharing their use of Tagger. To learn more and get a demo to see if Tagger is right for you, just visit jason.online slash Tagger today. That's jason.online slash Tagger. And if you heard last week's episode introducing the Marketing Podcast Network, instead of making an influencer marketing podcast recommendation this week, I'd love to invite you to visit marketingpodcasts.net to discover more marketing podcasts that might be worth adding to your queue. While we are just getting started there, we already have great shows like On Brand with Nick Westergaard, Entrepreneur's Enigma with Seth Goldstein, The Nice Podcast from Dave Delaney, and Copy Arena by Tanya Daka. Gordon Glenister, who I frequently recommend here, and his Influence Global podcast are there too. We hope to be adding more shows this week even, so stay plugged in there. Just visit marketingpodcasts.net to find a show you might like and subscribe. Definitive evidence that micro-influencers are a better investment, next on Winfluence. Today on JasonFalls.com, I offer up an analysis and review of Trend Hero's new report called The State of Influencer Marketing on Instagram. The software company, which sponsored this podcast last month and sponsored my analysis of their report, did a deep dive into the analytics of over 7.5 million U.S.-based Instagram accounts. The insights that it surfaced are, at a minimum, interesting and helpful in understanding where you should spend your time and resources for Instagram influencers. Do keep in mind that Trend Hero is, at least for now and in this report, singularly devoted to Instagram. But as that is the influence marketing platform of choice for most brands these days, it's a good starting point to understand the broader industry. Trend Hero's report primarily breaks down various Instagram influencer metrics by size of influencer audience. 
It looks at nano-influencers, micro-influencers, macro-influencers, and celebrities. Now, everyone has a different follower count parameter for those definitions, but Trend Hero does a nice job with it. For the purpose of the report, nano-influencers are 2,000 to 10,000 follower count creators. Now, that 10,000 follower count ceiling is important here. I'll explain why in a moment. Trend Hero considers micro-influencers to be 10,000 to 100,000 followers. Macro-influencers are 100,000 to 1 million, and celebrities are anyone over 1 million. The report focuses on two critical pieces of data about an influencer, their follower count and engagement rate. These two numbers give you a better idea of how effective an influencer is at delivering your message to their audience. Multiply them together and you get what I call true reach. How many of his or her followers actually engage with the content? The report then dives into each by geography, gender, and content topic, then cross-tabs everything. In my review today at jasonfalls.com, I actually use the engagement rate data to calculate the average true reach of each level of influencer. Then I bring some average pay rate data from Influencer Marketing Hub and apply it to calculate an average cost per thousand or CPM of each level of influencer. It could have been tricky to do this, but remember that 10,000 follower number Trend Hero set as the ceiling for nano influencers? Influencer Marketing Hub's payment report sets that as the ceiling for micro influencers. So I took the engagement rates of micro influencers versus the engagement rates of celebrities. I found true reach. Then I calculated the average cost of engagement for those comparable levels of influencers to come up with a CPM number. I certainly want you to jump over to the article and see more details, but would you believe the CPM for a celebrity engagement is $50 more than that of a micro-influencer? So if you want to reach 10,000 people with a celebrity, you'll pay $500 more than if you reach the same 10,000 people with micro-influencers. That's quite a difference. It also mathematically illustrates micro-influencers are a better investment than celebrities. Dig into my analysis at jason.online slash hero report. That's jason.online slash hero report. There's a big red button there where you can download the full report from Trend Hero for free so you can see all of it for yourself. Again, that address is jason.online slash hero report. Finally today, I have some fun news to share about Winfluence the book. The editors at LinkedIn recently published an article on the site called 10 New Books to Gift a Marketer or Yourself This Holiday Season. Winfluence, Reframing Influencer Marketing to Ignite Your Brand was on the list. The article was published on LinkedIn's blog, like the one for the entire site, not just some person on LinkedIn. Staff writer Alexandra Wren authored the piece. It certainly is flattering that people find the book useful. It's also more so flattering, I think, that someone takes the time to call it out and recommend it. So thank you to Alexandra and to LinkedIn. That was a nice pre-holiday gift for me. If you want to take LinkedIn's advice and get a copy of Winfluence for the marketer in your life, even if that marketer is you, just visit jason.online slash get the book. That's jason.online slash get the book. That will take you to the Amazon page where you can get the paperback, Kindle, or Audible version. And I narrate the audiobook, so dial that up and you can hear me talk more. Seriously, though, if you don't have the book, I'd be honored if you'd grab a copy and gift one to a friend who wants to know more about influence marketing. And don't forget to see more of that Trend Hero Report today at jason.online slash hero report. That's jason.online slash hero report. What are your experiences with micro influencers compared to celebrities or even mega influencers? Record a voice memo on your phone and send it to jason at jasonfalls.com. I may use your comments on a future episode. Have a different question or topic related to influence or influence marketing you'd like my take on? Inspire an episode by emailing me at that same address, jason at jasonfalls.com. I may use your question as a show topic. If I do, I'll send you a signed copy of Winfluence the book as a thank you. Winfluence, the influence marketing podcast, is presented by my book, Winfluence, Reframing Influencer Marketing to Ignite Your Brand. Get your copy online at winfluencebook.com. While you're there, sign up for the latest ideas about influence marketing delivered in my monthly newsletter or book me to speak to your company or organization about influence marketing. If you or someone you know is an influencer, a brand manager that uses influence marketing, or one of the many amazing people working in the influence marketing services world, and they would make a good guest for the show, 
email me at jason at jasonfalls.com. Our theme music is One More Look by the K-Club and Grammy Award-winning producer Jaquire King. Thanks for listening, and remember, when it's not about the person, but about results, it's Winfluence.